Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about and discuss about one of the most important structure of a plant that is the flower. We are going to discuss about the different types of a flower and different, the different parts of a flower. So let's discuss about the flower. Flower, it is a highly modified shoot and the main purpose of a flower is to aid in sexual reproduction. Now all flowers, they are held by a stalk which is known as the pedicel. So as you can see in this picture, this is the pedicel, this is holding the flower. So what is the function of the pedicel or the stalk? Pedicel actually positions a flower in such a way that it can help in the process of pollination by attracting pollinating agents. So because of pollination, it will again help in the process of sexual reproduction. So pedicel plays an important part or important uh, function in sexual reproduction. Pedicellate flowers have got pedicel. So the flowers which have got pedicel, they are known as the pedicellate flowers, right? Now, a typical flower, it has got four roles or four different structures. What are those? Calyx, corolla, androsium and the gynosium. So calyx, these are also known as the sepals. As you can see over here, these green leaf-like structures, they are the calyx or the sepals. Corolla, they are the petals, are the yellow structures. These are known as the petals or the corolla. Androsium, this is the male reproductive organ or the organs which are involved in male reproduction. So they are the male reproductive organs of a flower. This is the androsium and it is called the stamens, which has got two parts, the anther and the filament. Anther is this red colored portion which contains the pollen grains and the filament is the uh, stalk which holds the pollen grains. So this is the stamens or the androsium male reproductive structure. The female reproductive structure is known as the gynosium which is the pistil. It has got three different parts, the stigma, the style and the ovary. So this is the gynosium. Now calyx and corolla that is sepals and petals, they are the accessory organs. Why accessory? Because they do not take part in the proper reproduction. So in sexual reproduction, they do not take part. Hence they are known as the calyx and corolla are called the accessory organs. In compared to that, androsium and gynosium, since they are directly uh, involved in the sexual reproduction, so they are not the actual the reproductive organs, right? They are essential organs. Now, a typical flower in which the calyx and the corolla are not distinct. So here, the sepals and the petals sometimes they are found in fused form. So here we cannot properly distinguish between a sepal that is calyx and a corolla that is petal. So these type of flowers are known as the perianth. This form is known as the perianth. Now, flowers in which both the androsium or the male structure and the gynosium or the female reproductive structure both are present in a single flower, those flowers are called the bisexual flowers. In compared to that, if flowers they have either the male reproductive organ or the androsium or the female reproductive organ or the gynosium, these are known as the unisexual flowers. Now, there is a structure known as the bract. This, these are nothing but reduced leaf-like structure which is present at the base of the pedicel or the stalk of a flower. So as you can see over here, this is the flower, this is the stalk and this is these are the leaf-like structure, these are the bracts. Now the flowers which have got bract, they are known as the bracted flowers, whereas the flowers which do not have bracts, they are known as the ebacted flowers. So in this video, we have introduced ourselves to the flowers, which are nothing but the reproductive structures of a typical plant. We have studied about some of the important parts of a flower. We have also studied about the reproductive structure of a flower that is androsium and the gynosium. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.